Uh, good to see you again. You're looking great today, that's for show. Tyler here again, and I'm gonna teach you how to do the order of operations, okay? Order of operations is something you're gonna use in any secondary math class from here on out, okay? It's just something you need to know to solve equations. Anytime you wanna solve for X or evaluate or simplify, anything like that, you got to know your orders of operations, okay? So, here we go. This is the thing you'll always hear people say. Please, excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Okay, this is the order in which you need to work an equation, okay? Certain things are more important than other things, okay? It's not like life where everybody gets a participation ribbon. This is like math where things are more important than other things, okay? The P stands for parentheses. I wrote it crummy because I'm not sure how to spell it because I'm not a very smart person. And you're still watching, so thank you. All right, E is for X, I don't know why I did that. Exponents, which means like little things up there, little number up there in the, where the degree sign would be. Um, it's like when you have a regular number, like 12 to the X power. Okay, that marker is not great. Okay, something to the X power. Um, then you got M is your, from here on down, is your regular multiplication. Multiply, divide. Those two are equally important, okay? They just really depend on um, which one comes first in progression from left to right, just like you're reading a book, okay? And then addition and subtraction. I don't know why I capitalized ADD. <laughs> I wonder why. Subtraction. Okay, so addition, subtraction, multiply, divide, and then parentheses, exponents. There are really three tiers. Most important, second most, third, fourth, okay? I say third and fourth because I can group these together based on where they go, okay? So let's look at it. Let's look at a problem. So say you've got um, two, five, minus three, squared, plus 10. Okay, and then just do two minus. Okay, 12 minus, so it's different. Okay, so we got this equation right here. All right, first thing I wanna look for are parentheses, okay, because my rule is to do what's in the parentheses first. That would be this. That means I need to look at this problem by itself. Five minus three squared. It's more, most important thing in this problem is my first set of parentheses. Okay, I need to solve it as much as I can and then I can move on, okay? We got this right here. Inside the parentheses, now we essentially do this all again. Are there any more parentheses in here? No. Do we have any exponents? Yes, we've got this, so we need to do that. So five minus three squared, which would be nine, okay? Now we move down, multiply, there's no multiplication, no division, no addition, there is subtraction. Five minus nine is what? 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 5 minus 9 is negative 4. Now, I can replace all this with my negative 4. Okay, so 12 minus 2, negative 4 plus 10. Okay? I have parentheses here, but there's nothing to simplify in there. So therefore, it's no longer needed. Okay? Exponents. Do you have any exponents left? No. Multiply. I'm going to multiply going across. 12 minus, no. Now, this means multiply. Anytime you have a parentheses right next to something else, it's essentially saying multiply. Just like 2x would be 2 times x, this is negative 2 times negative 4. So negative 2 times negative 4 makes a positive 8. Is there anything else to multiply? No. Is there anything else to divide? No. Is there anything to add? Yippers. 12 plus 8 is 20. And then we just keep going from left to right. 20 plus 10 is 30. Is there anything else left? Sorry, subtraction, you don't get included. And that's the order of operations, okay? Sweet. What up? Tyler here, and I'm going to show you some examples on how to do the order of operations, okay? We're gonna start out with an easier one, okay? This will be an easy example. All right, so, Let's look at this. We've got four plus six, seven, okay? 
We want to look at our order of operations. Remember, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. And I made up a way, and I'm sure other people have done it before, but the way I wrote it shows you what those things are. This is parentheses, this is exponent, multiply, divide, add, add subtract, okay? Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Why are we excusing her? Because she burped at the table. And that's very rude, Sally. You're an aunt, you're older than me. You should be more, I don't know, mature, but you're just burping and Putin everywhere. Sally, get it together, girl. Okay, so let's look at an easy version, all right? We look at our first step. This is most important, parentheses. We do what's in the parentheses first, okay? Inside the parentheses, we essentially look at all this again, okay? But there's only one operation happening in there, so it's pretty easy. We just skip down to the addition. Four plus six would be 10. And then, our next thing is we've only got one operation left, and that's multiplication. Because when you have parentheses there and the number next to it, it's multiply. So, 70. And that's your answer, okay? So that's an easy version of order of operations. What up? Okay, so I've got another example. This is example number two of um, order of operations on how to work one, okay? So let's say we got 50 minus 15 plus 9, okay? And we want to solve this problem. All right, what you have happening here is you've got a 50 minus, and then in parentheses you have all this, okay? That means that essentially this is negative one times all this, okay? A lot of you might not know that. If this is like algebra one, you might not know that. So that's a fun fact. You're essentially doing negative one times all this, all right? And then you've got stuff in the parentheses, okay? So we're gonna look at our order of operations, starting at the top with our most important and working our way down. First thing we look for is any parentheses we have in there, okay? We have a set of parentheses, so we're going to do what's inside there first, okay? So we're going to look at it by itself. So inside there, we've only got one operation, so it's pretty easy to determine what to do first because it's the only thing to do. 15 plus 9 would be 24, correct? Now, we've got a minus sign there. That is not, you're not, you are subtracting what's in there. But if this sign was different, you would have to switch that sign. So it's, it's just something you have to remember. The best way to do it so you won't mess up, remember that's negative one times all this. It's like if you have um, x. You know that's one times x, right? But you don't have to write it because it's always gonna be just x, all right? So here, that's like negative one times that, which means it's just gonna change our signs, okay? So we do that multiplication next. Negative one times 24 is negative 24. Okay? Last step, there's only one operation left, so we can skip down to the last one, which is subtract. 50 minus 24 is 26. And that's our final answer. So that's your second example on how to do an easy version of order of operations. What up? Here we are again on our own. I know, the voice, that's the voice. That's where I make money, but I mean, I don't make any money. Okay, so we're looking at a medium example of how to do uh, the order of operations. So this will be example one, okay? So in example one, we're gonna do this little fella. Order of operations, let's get an equation. 29 minus three, nine minus four. Okay, so this would be a moderately, moderately difficult um, expression. All right, so here we go. First thing we're looking for are any parentheses. That's our most important one. That's what we have to do first. We do have a set of parentheses, so I'm just going to look at that. All right, inside there, there's only one operation happening. So I'm going to do that first. 9 minus 4 is what? 5, okay? Boom. Now, your next step, we don't have any more parentheses except for a number that's by itself. So there's no operations in there. All it's telling us now is to multiply these two, okay? Um, so we look at our exponent. Do we have any exponents? No. Move on to the next one. So m, which means multiply. So are there any multiplications? From left to right, boom, yes. We have a multiplication. So negative 3 times 5 is what? I'll do all this. That'd be negative 15, correct? All right. We've only got one operation left, so we can jump down to it, and it's subtraction which would be 14. And that's our final answer. Order of operations, baby. Now what's up. Here we are again. Okay, so we're gonna do a problem, an example problem of, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, which is order of operations, okay? So this will be example number two. All right, so let's look at this. 
Let's say we got, okay, we're gonna toss some brackets in this little fella. Yeah, it's getting real. It's getting real, real. Okay, now, brackets, or braces, whatever you wanna call them, brackets are essentially parentheses, okay? We throw them in if we have other parentheses inside of there, okay? That's all they are. They are fancy versions of this, okay? Could be that as well. All right, so we're still gonna do the same thing with the order of operations. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Start with our parentheses. Do we have any parentheses? Yes, we got boom, boom, okay? We wanna do them first because they're inside our other parentheses. I know they're brackets, but they're the same thing. So they're inside there, so they're more important. We do the inside ones first. It's like Inception. You start there and then, actually start there and work your way in. You wanna start there and then you get out. Inception. Okay, so whenever we do this, is there anything we have to do inside that parentheses? No, it's a two. No, it's a four. But we have more parentheses. We've got this as a parentheses, so we're gonna start with it. So that means we have to work this problem by itself. Seven times two minus four. Now within that parentheses, we have to do our order of operations again, okay? No exponents. Is there multiplication? Yes, so do the multiplication. Seven times two is 14 minus four. Only one operation left, so we can skip down to subtraction, which would be 10. So inside that bracket is 10. So this little fella is now 10, okay? And I can put bracket around if I want. I don't need to though, okay? Let's look at this side. We've got another parentheses, okay? I'm bringing down my plus sign. A lot of kids don't bring down the signs whenever you're doing this. Make sure you do that or you're gonna mess yourself up, okay? Inside this one, nine plus eight times four. Do this again. Once you do this so many times, it will start becoming second nature and you won't have to actually think about all this. You'll just do them in chunks and then you'll start doing them the way they're supposed to, okay? But practice makes perfect. Repetition reinforces, that's what's up, okay? Inside there, no parentheses except for what's already a number. No exponents. Is there multiplication? Yes. Boom, eight times four. So nine plus eight times four is 32. Only one operation left, so you can go ahead and add those together. It's 41. So all this equals 41, just like all this equaled 10, okay? So I'll bring it down, 41. Last step, there's only one operation left, so skip to it and you get 51. And that's gonna be your final answer. And you just did a medium difficult problem. Order of operations. Boom, yeah. All right, all right. Okay, so we're doing a problem. A hard version, or difficult, now everyone say it, difficult version of how to do the order of operations, okay? So this is example number one. Okay, so we'll do four times three squared times five over nine plus three, okay? Cool, cool, cool. So here's the way I look at these, okay? And your teacher might say different, but this is the way I do it. Whenever I see stuff separated by a division sign, I like to split it up in chunks. This is one story, this is another story. I wanna simplify them as much as I can before I do any division, okay? Hold on. <gasps> Sorry, I had to check my stuff, make sure it was recording. And guess what? You just saw me see, knew it was. Or did I cut it out and switch it back? You'll never know. Okay, so here we go. So I wanna look at the top part by itself, okay? Parentheses first. So can I do this parentheses? It's my first step. I want to do all my parentheses. Okay? I can do this right here. 4 times 3 is 12. Excellent. So bring everything else down the way it was. Okay? So his, this is my new problem now. I don't care about this anymore. Okay? This is now my problem. Parentheses. Boom. Nothing I can do about it. Exponent. Boom. There's something I can do about that. So it'll be 144 times 5 over nine plus three. Okay, now there's still some more steps I can do. I can do the top part and the bottom part, okay? That's what I recommend, okay? I recommend getting the top down, bottom down, and then start doing that other part. So let's do the top part. 144 times five, which would be zero, two, 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 720, and then nine plus three is 12. And what does that equal when you divide it? 60. And that's our answer. Okay? That's order of operations, everybody. That's the way I would do it. Okay? That's my personal breakdown of how to do this. It's the same way we did it. I split them up. I just did that last part 
there, okay? If I had a division inside of it going across, I would have done that before I did any addition or subtraction. But I can't because this has to do it by itself and then this by itself. Does that make sense? I hope so. That's a difficult version. All right, guys, we're here on example two of a difficult version of order of operations. I'm Tyler, who are you? You're awesome, that's who you are. Okay, so we're working this problem out. We wanna do it in this order. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. P is parentheses, expo exponents, exponents, that's French. He did exponents. Calm down, Frenchie. All right, multiply, divide, add, subtract. Okay, first thing, parentheses. I see right here, there's parentheses, but is there anything I need to do there? No, because it's just a number, it's four. There's no operations, it's already done. Cool, we're done with parentheses. Okay, exponents, do we have any exponents in here? Yes, we've got exponents here and here. So I'm gonna do those next. We've got three, stays where it is, plus two to the third, which is two, times two, which is four, times two, which is eight. So eight goes there. And then we've got five squared, which is five, five times five, which is 25. And then we're still gonna bring that four down, okay? Good deal. Just again, checking, there's my three, there's that, there's that, there's that. Good deal. Now, exponents, gone. <whistles> Done with that. Now we do our multiplications, okay? There's a multiplication right here. Three plus eight, over. 25 times four is 100, okay? Now, it's like I always said, yes, there's a division there, but you can't really do that division because you've got something that needs to be done first. You have to do this first, okay? Before you start cutting from first to second floor, you've got to simplify the floors, okay? Three plus eight is 11, stays over 100. That's our answer. Can we divide? Can we simplify this any further without making a decimal? No. So I would leave it there because it's my exact answer. If you put it in the decimal, you're probably going to have to round it at some point, and that makes it not exactly correct. If your teacher tells you different, do that, but if not, you did it. Congratulations. What up? I'm here and I would uh, just like to thank you for watching the video. I hope it helped some. If it did, check out TylerTarver.com. Um, I almost said Taylor though, that's not my name. TaylorTarver.com or TylerTarver.com. Um, also, um, if you're on the internet, you can click this and it'll take you to my math channel. And then this will take you to my stuff. That's, it's got some math, but it's also got a lot of nonsense. Um, so click that too. If not, I've got links in the comments. Um, check out, or not in the comments, but in the you know description. Check out my Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook if you want to. I'd uh, really appreciate it. You just search Tyler Barber and it's pretty easy to find on all three of them. Um, thanks again for watching and hope you have a lovely day.